Around two weeks ago, many of you will have seen that one of Playboy Carti's artists, Destroyer Lonely, was beefing with rapper Lucky. I won't be explaining the entire beef here, as I've already made an entire video explaining their beef. But to give some context for this video, Lucky was messing with this girl called Aisha Mia around 2021-2022, but Lone ended up publicly dating her in late 2022. In some tweets Aisha put out, it seemed like Lone was jealous and upset about something to do with Lucky and Aisha, which led to him A-wording her. Lone would then diss Lucky in a leaked snippet, saying I surpassed my favourite rappers, guess I'm Lucky. <laughs> To which Lucky would respond with saying opium wear dresses are fake gangsters and that he didn't even do anything with that girl. Y'all paint y'all nails and wear dresses sometimes. How do you want to be a street now? That shit don't mix. Like, I don't want to be associated with that sh I never dissed you, I never, what you call it because of that girl, I never cared. Everybody know the girl I care about. <laughs> Which now leads us on to the night of the 14th of September, where the entirety of Opium, including the producers, started attacking Lucky. At first, Playboy Carti would be sending shots, flexing on an unknown rapper on his burner Opium Instagram account. He would also make a post including a picture of one of his incarcerated friends, which he would comment under, just because I listen to your music doesn't mean I F with you. But Carti would then begin posting on his main Instagram story. Know your fella cap, I liked your pictures, now he blocked my page. Everybody got a Jesus piece twin, but F that, what your rocks look like, pointers, no custom, shh. Just got these three not yellow, one, two weeks ago, 250 a band. And Carti would continue posting and flexing his jewellery, but out of nowhere would begin posting his DMs with Lucky. When no offence to Lucky, it seemed like he was glazing a little bit. I am YVL, this backroom shit brazy. You made me buy a lamb truck after that different day video. Now even though it did seem like Lucky was acting like a little bit of a fan, if you look close Mostly, Lucky sent messages such as IDK, LMFAO, for real, which you don't really send unless there are responses to something. So it seemed like Carti deleted messages to make Lucky look bad. Carti would post more of his DMs of Lucky. I love when you drop bro, shh, make me better. These fellas out here boring. New swag, new bag. Bash mother effing Barty. Where this time, Carti actually responded, putting the 100 emoji and saying 4L. Pop it then twin, 100, that's hard. Lucky would respond with Why Vielski, then a 10 second voice message, straight out Leonte closet. Keep running the world, it fits you, feels good to be the inventors. Oh love, I'm done bothering you, which Carti didn't like or even respond to. Lucky would then send more messages on a different day. Look at this twin, LMAO, I'm coming normal too. Then a month later, with no responses or likes from Carti, he would say, I better see you later or some. Carti would then make one more Instagram post about Lucky. I don't want to hear sh else about your baby daddy, that fella, a whole B. Now some fans were thinking, since Carti is talking about baby daddy and is currently posting messages with Lucky, they thought that Carti was referring to Alexis, which is Lucky's long time partner that is mentioned in a lot of his songs and is part of like the Lucky lore, I would say. But we don't know if that's true. Now after this, Lucky would begin responding on his Instagram story. He would first post a video saying that Carti needs to stop pretending to be some Jesus lover. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't be no Jesus lover now. Mm -hmm. You niggas don't love Jesus. You don't love Jesus. <laughs> you don't love Jesus. But if we want to have a Jesus loving competition, I'm all for it. Lucky would then post his DMs with Carti, this time showing how he was spam messaging him in return, making him look like a fan as Lucky wasn't responding. Keep winning, the world loves you. It's so true. I would love to, I'm into it. I appreciate you. Time is only the thing we can't get back, but we must keep going. Congratulations, L. You deserve it as well. Lucky would then post one more video on his Instagram story, clearing things up, saying he was not this in Carti with his story about Crosses Up, which was on the same day Carti dropped his hit single, All Red, which had the line, Upside Down Cross, tat on my neck, and of course the entire opium branding is Upside Down Crosses. Like I said from the jump, I don't dislike you. You think yesterday because I bought a chain and I said Crosses Up that I would sneak this in you because you made a song and said, Upside Down Cross, tat on my neck, but it wasn't that though. I was just like, I just bought a chain and I was saying, cross is up. You just insecure because you don't love Jesus like that. 
you, you're not a Jesus lover. So it seemed like this entire situation began because Lucky made an Instagram story or post saying crosses up. On the same night, Carti dropped all red, which I'm presuming Carti took as a diss, which is why he made all those posts about Lucky. Now I can understand why Carti would have felt hurt by that story, as his and Opium's iconic branding is upside down crosses. And with the fact Lucky made that story on the same night Carti dropped his song with a lyric about upside down crosses, Carti probably saw it as a sneak diss. Lucky would then post an Instagram story which was Carti wearing a I Love Jesus shirt from around 2018, which I guess is Lucky trying to poke fun of Carti on how he switched up on his love for God. Carti would clap back though on his Instagram story with a picture of Ken Carson's brand new green Lamborghini with the caption, you should assign to Opium this little twin sh he deserve everything I'm happy AF for real, which was Carti suggesting Lucky should have signed to Opium because this is what his artist achieved, referring to Ken's car. Ken Carson himself would then repost this story on his Instagram where he also added his song MDMA as in that song he says the lyrics Lil boy you should have signed to opium I laugh at that fella he's slaving You ain't got no money you ain't got no funds I count that sh I'm saving Which was actually apparently initially a diss at Young Ko and I think it was but Ken was just using it now as it fits in with what is currently going on now, I honestly understand why Ken probably feels some way towards Lucky, as a while ago, a fan posted a picture of Ken and Lucky together at a festival, to which Lucky would respond with, this a real pic, as in a question, acting like he doesn't know who Ken is and making him look like a fan, so Ken was probably holding this in for a while. And what fans found very confusing is that Filthy would also post this on his Instagram story, as if you didn't know, Filthy and Lucky have an entire album together and have worked very closely in the past, so so it's weird that he's now reposting Carti's story where he's dissing Lucky. It seems like the Lucky filthy ship has sailed and they're no longer on good terms. This beef would then escalate from Instagram onto Twitter as Lucky would put out a spur of tweets which Opium members would respond to. LMAO, I was just happy bro was dressing regular. Bash Barty forever my heart. I'll never hate that person. I slept on the floor with him. But Mr. Evil Vampire, brackets not Jesus lover, is not my kind of guy. And I'm still YVL. I literally just woke up an hour ago, to which a fan would reply with, you not YVL, we kicked you out this sh, which is of course just a fan trolling, to which Lucky would quote tweet with, responding, nah bro, you've been woke all day, it's no way you're a vamp, where it's clear Lucky is just trying to troll now, which I don't blame him, you can't really fight back with opium fans, I mean you're a rapper, you shouldn't really be responding to fans in the first place. A fan would also reply with to Lucky saying, fella, if you don't fight back, to which Lucky responded with, it's nothing to fight back over, my old friend posted our messages because I love Jesus more than him. Lucky would then respond to Kirko making a post about Carti's Instagram story with the green Lamborghini saying Lucky should have signed to Opium, a bunch of laughing emojis, bruh this fella got to be on the craziest acid trip ever right now. Which honestly, Lucky is kind of right because I've never seen Carti get so annoyed at a rapper. I don't want to diss Lucky but like Lucky is an underground rapper and Carti is now going mainstream about to drop his album and he's making a big deal over someone who is very small compared to him. Zach B at Twitterbot smiley face, which I'm guessing is him calling all the Opium fans Twitterbots. Now under that tweet, a fan would show one of Lucky's old tweets from 2011 saying, Jesus is an old ass fella, he still get the B words though. To which Lucky responded with, you got me SMH. As this entire time, Lucky has been promoting himself as this Jesus lover, but then people are bringing back old tweets where he seemed very very anti-Christ. Bruh, that fella just posted one single car and said that's why somebody should assign to him. And the fella reposted it proud. That's the funniest sh ever, oh my dear Jesus Christ, who I love so much. Which is Lucky basically laughing at Ken and Carti, as just because you have a cool car doesn't mean you should sign to someone. And Lucky was also speaking about this as in signing to a bigger artist in his beef with Destroy Lonely, where he clowned loan for signing to another big rapper. A fan would respond to this tweet saying Ken is rich than you, to which Lucky would respond with laughing emojis. Now, if we're gonna do some pocket watching, Lucky probably does have more money than Ken because Lucky has been in the game for like 10 years, whereas Ken has only been like around since 2021. But you know, let's say for the next 10 years, Ken is probably gonna make more.
more money. No offense, he, he just bought like a brand new Lamborghini. Now, Destroy Lonely's right hand man and sidekick Lil88 would get involved and quote tweet Lucky's post about being YVL where he said, not YVL, which Lucky would then retweet. It seems like Lucky is just trying to make this entire situation a joke and not take it too seriously, which honestly is a good way, I guess, because you can't really do this stuff with opium fans. Don't nobody want to do nothing to each other, so this sh better stay on the internet like how it is. I've been in Atlanta since tour ended vibing with a capital V. Lil ATA would then put out another tweet. All that fake chasing on the internet be crazy, it's okay though, which Lucky would then retweet. And to end it all off, Lucky would make two more Instagram stories. The first one where he would post his normal chain, not an upside down one like all the opium members were, where he would also add one of his songs to the story, where in the lyrics he said, I shouldn't respond respond to none of these fellas, Bush, what could happen? I'm dealing with rappers. Where in the lyrics, it seems like Lucky is saying he shouldn't be responding to any rapper disses, but if he does, nothing will actually happen as these rappers aren't who they say they are, which could be him again claiming Carti and Opium are fake goons, which is what he said in his previous beef with Loan, that they're not real gangsters. Then the final post Lucky would make would be of Destroyed Lonely's producer Lil ATA, saying, all that fake chasing on the internet be crazy, it's okay though, which I'm presuming was actually initially aimed at Lucky, but then Lucky reposted it, trying to flip it on them, saying they are the ones chasing on social media. So that's the Lucky and Carti beef. It originally started with Destroy Lonely around two weeks ago, which then escalated to Carti beefing Lucky, as Carti felt that Lucky's post about crosses up on the same night he dropped all red was a diss at him. Now honestly, I feel bad for Lucky, because beefing with opium can end up being one of the most annoying things ever, as probably for the next couple years, he will have nothing but opium goons and fanboys under his posts. As even like now, fans are bringing up old tweets of Lucky saying he is like a Satan disciple and other crazy stuff which doesn't make him look good. And of course, all the other we gonna pull up on you Lucky on the 5 YVL cringe stuff. Now even though Carty tried to make Lucky look like a fan, he literally was as in an interview clip, he explained how he basically used to look up to Carty. I remember back in the day like when I was young and I was like 19 and like Cardi, Yachty, other people like was like blowing up and sh and I was just like with like around them, right? I remember I used to be thinking like I wonder how they feel when they wake up. Like I used to like literally it's funny we in a room like this, right? I used to have like a room like this in my head, like that's how they wake up every day. Like I was still standing on my parents crib. I used to like think they probably wake up every day like this. Like it just started happening. I ain't even told never. I f with that. Now other rappers would start getting involved in the situation. V's, who is Lucky's close friend, would say on his Instagram story, can we get back to music, stop these diversions and fake beef, the fans really depend on us SMH. Which honestly, I guess he's not wrong because this is like literally fake beef, like nothing has actually happened. I don't even know why Carti went off on Lucky like that. Then Thousand Banfani, who has a long and deep dark past with Playboy Carti. If you don't know about it, watch my Victims of Playboy Carti video. Carti basically did him really dirty, but he would tweet out, folks are glazer, for real, laughing emoji, which I'm pretty sure was aimed at Lucky, saying he was glazing Carti with those DMs that Carti posted. And what was absolutely hilarious about this is Benji Blue Bills, who is friends with Lucky, but is like Carti's biggest op, would tweet out, we all have our differences, but can we agree that Lil 88 is a B, which made my day, because I hate that guy. The whole opium community hates him because he's just annoying. He tweets out all day and doesn't do anything. Which Brent Rambo would then quote tweet with laughing emojis showing how much everyone hates Lil 88. And I even found this clip of Lucky on Bruce Drop on stream where he said he hasn't even spoken to Carti in years or in a long time. So again, I really don't understand why they're beefing if they aren't on speaking terms. Is Carti really this upset because Lucky said Cross is up? Is it that serious? Why y'all like him making up music? Huh? Oh, he's another human, I'm another human? I haven't really talked to Carti since we was like younger. But I love Cardi though. Niggas be on their yeah, own shit. Everybody got their own You feel me? Like, I'm one of them. That's why I'm, I'm really a human. Like, niggas be on their own time. Like. Yeah. So overall this beef started because Destroy Lonely was upset about something to do with Lucky and his girl, which his girl exposed after Loan abused her. And then a couple weeks after, Carti would start beefing Lucky after Lucky posted crosses up, which I really find funny that it upset Carti this much that he had to expose him and start beef with him. Like I definitely feel like posting crosses up on the same day Carti is dropping 
all red, which has the lyrics upside down cross tatted on my neck. I don't know. I feel like Lucky was trying to do something with that. Like, come on, posting it on the exact same day that Carti is dropping, even though Carti's entire aesthetic is devil and upside down crosses. Yeah, so it seemed like Carti didn't like that. And then Lucky responded to the entire situation, just trolling, saying he's still YVL, something about vampires. Yeah, personally, I don't think we should take this beef too serious. It doesn't seem like anything has actually happened. Like, with the lone and lucky one, I actually could see something, you know, they were messing over the same girl, you know, they were, you know, guys beef over chicks. But with this one, literally nothing happened. I don't even know why Carti posted all those DMs. It literally makes zero sense to me. I maybe Carti just wanted to embarrass Lucky and make him look like a fan. I'm not too sure. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment. Don't post up crosses on your stories, and I'll see you guys in the next one.